Hello everyone, this is Ron again with Strangely Normal, and today I'm taking a look at a game that I mentioned probably a couple weeks ago. Uh, that game is Hexen. This is the sequel to Heretic. Um, I might have had to take a look at this, um, because when I played it, um, it did something in first person shooters that I had not seen before. And as you're seeing in the background there, that would be the melee. Um, with it. This game was actually my first exposure to any sort of first person melee. And, the, and uh, I did play this a little bit as a kid. I never really got into it too much um, overall, but just the fact that I could actually punch guys in first person in some sort of fantasy game was kind of neat. Um, the game itself was released in 1995 developed by Raven Software and published by it. Exact same thing as uh, Heretic. Even still uses a modified version of the Doom engine. And with this, it actually, this game uh, takes place actually in sort of the same fiction as uh, Heretic. But rather than, but what happened was is basically they say that while the first game was going on, this was all, while well, the first game was going on and your character was going to uh, destroy the big evil dude there. In a, in a different world, this one, one of the other guys was here doing stuff and these heroes set out to stop him. And this game was noticeable, was actually, was notable because, um, because when you played it, you could actually choose between three characters. One of them was a fighter who was just all melee, a cleric, kind of had some melee and uh, ranged stuff. And then, um, and then a mage who had, who had a lot of range and a lot of magic. And, uh, and at the time that was actually pretty interesting, especially just as far as, you know, like first person shooter games kind of went that you actually had different characters that did different, that actually played differently and did different things. Still has, still has many of the items from Heretic, as you're seeing the quartz flask. It did add some new stuff, like I have that flechette there. Uh, and that. And, uh, the graphics? Um, strangely enough, I mean, well, it certainly just look different. It's almost like it's a step down from Heretic, which is a little bit strange, but it plays pretty well. Um, the controls are still the same. I think I gotta, I think I gotta sprint through here. It's been a while since I've played this, and I never got too terribly far in it. Uh, I played just a little bit of it. I thought the concept was neat, but, um... For some reason, I was having a hard time getting into actually fighting guys and not dying all the time. Jeez, that's a that's an annoying trap. Okay, I got an emerald key. Oh yeah, another thing I really liked as you probably saw me earlier: punching windows. I liked that a lot when I when I played this earlier, and when I played this when I used to play it. Okay, I got an emerald key. I think there's a door out here that I need to open for that. Ah, uh, I think this is it. Yes. More guys. Punch him in the face. What is that noise? The, the door is oh, the door is locked. Oh, let's open this thing here. Oh, and one thing about this game that uh, this game did have, it has an actual jump button, um, which is a little bit strange. Uh, and an actual, like, use button where, like, you have to push switches, you don't just run into them and that. And, uh, so it did actually do some things. Um, but, as I mentioned earlier, its main thing was that this, this is one of the, the first, the first, one of the first first-person games I played where you, where you could actually 
be a character that just ran around and punched dude and that was their primary means of attack. It was a not not doing any sort of rage. Um it's not the, you know, it's not always the best as you saw with those, like, little flying guys there. It can be difficult, but, I mean, to me, I thought it was really cool that, you know, hey, man, for the first time ever, I can play one of these, I can play a game like Doom, but rather than, uh, but rather than having to break out some sort of ranged weapon, I can just run up and punch him, and that's actually what I'm supposed to be doing. What is this? Some sort of key, apparently. Um, what little I played of this game was actually kind of difficult. Uh, yeah, I think that was probably also part of the reason why I didn't get very far, but... Oh, I apparently punched that open and got that. And, uh, and also, um, to go along with just talking more about the characters, each of the characters also have their own weapons that they pick up. And I'm just going to go to the help menu real quick and actually show you. As you see right there, you know, each character actually has their own weapons. Um, I only know what the first ones are. Uh, the cleric's is just his fist. The, I'm sorry, the fighter's is his fist, and he has the most powerful melee. The cleric's is the, is the mace. I don't know what its other weapons are. And then the mage starts off with a ranged weapon on with a ranged weapon. Um... Yeah, this I did actually think was kind of cool. Um, you actually can act, you actually have, like ring that bell um, to just have something moving like that. In one of these games, especially since the game is based off of a modified version of the Doom Engine, is actually kind of neat. Let's see if I can even finish this level here. Um, I remember finishing it at some point. But, uh, I don't, I don't particularly remember how I finished it. I think I kind of stumbled around until, like, I found some switch or something that I had missed. And, uh, and that led me to the exit. Um, even just as a, as a beginner level, as a first level, a little bit confusing for me. Okay, let me see here. Oh, looks like that area in the center is open up. Punch you. Oh, it transported me. I think this is the exit. Ethereal travel. That's a great loading screen. Greetings, mortal. Are you ready to die? No, not really. But it's actually kind of neat, especially for a game that's using the Doom Engine to get something like that. I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty simple, but it's just like... Just like you're kind of like being like taunted or whatever and the fact that it like it actually seems to like have made an attempt to connect the levels That is kind of neat actually Not just have it be so You know, oh you finished the level. Here's a little flash of a map screen and then you're done like Strafe punch it. Yeah I think that's a trap. Oh. There we go. Got those guys. I think I remember getting to this level. Um, I don't remember how far I got in it. I think in this level you actually get a new weapon. Let's see if I can actually... If I can actually get that new weapon. Um, I think for the fighter, it's an axe. And it's actually, it's actually kind of neat to get that axe. It's like glowing and it doesn't mess these guys up. But anyway, let me see if I can wander around for a bit here and figure out what I'm doing. If not, I may just end this just because I don't want to have you guys be stuck just watching me wander around be stupid for a while. And again, it may also be part of the reason why you're watching, but anyway. Mm. A lot of these things. Yeah, flesh shots. I think these are like kind of like 
Oh, like mines or something, or some sort of AOE thing. Let me see here. I, I, I could just be doing something entirely wrong. No, that's just that thing. Let me see here. <coughs> Are any of these doors open? Anything here? <coughs> oh, I missed this thing over here. More guys to fight. Yeah, this game does actually have, I guess, magic in it. Um, I never got far <coughs> enough to really mess around with that stuff. Okay. Let's see if I can actually get somewhere in this level and not just wander around like a moron. <coughs> like I said, I never really got too far into this game, so... I apologize if I seem like I'm just kind of wandering around this because I am um, not the most familiar with this. Not like Heretic, which I played an absolute ton of and knew that game inside and out. This game, I checked it out. I got a little bit into it, but I never really, never really sort of sat down with it for a long period of time. You know, I almost feel like maybe I need to do something here. <coughs> Or not, I don't know. <coughs> Perhaps. <coughs> no, it didn't do anything. I could be missing <coughs> some kind of switch. Check my map here. Must need a little, t a little timer there. Okay. See if there's anything. If anything enlightens me up here. Just the room. <coughs> I, guess I, I could have sworn I actually like figured this out and got somewhere. <coughs> but I could just be wrong. Um, we'll see <coughs> on this here. If I don't find something soon, I think I'll probably just end it. <coughs> nope. Are any of these doors gonna open? <coughs> Guys from spawn. Oh. It is kind of satisfying to watch them explode like that when they get punched. Yeah. Uh. Progress. It's a great thing. Jumping! Hooray! Interesting. Ice thingies. Oh yeah, they were like these like ice animals. Ethereal travel. is apparently barred. Oh, that looks like a trap.
crap. actually active the characters too. Looks like um like this earlier that, that item made just like this little like, cloud of gas. Amulet of warding. Apparently it increased something called my AC, so it was probably damage reduction or something like that. Okay, let's flip the switch. <coughs> Very interesting. Okay, I think I'm gonna <coughs> end this shortly here. This game it's doesn't have quite the pacing of the first the original heretic, I'll tell you that much. And uh just doesn't seem to be really going a whole lot of places here. <coughs> hmm. I probably missed something yet again. Hmm. Weird, I got teleported back to here. Wait, is that the axe I was talking about? Yes! See, that's an axe. Alright, I wish we got some- we just breathed some new life into this here. Oh. Actually, the thing is, this weapon, that blue mana, looks like it's kind of like it's ammo. It's what makes it glow. Hmm. Interesting. to the face. I'm a pretty big fan of them. That's kind of neat though that those enemies can actually block your attacks. this up shortly here. Flip the switch. Uh, does something. Don't know what, because it seems to reset. Which isn't the most helpful. health back here. Wow, that's a lot of flasks. <coughs> okay, I think I'm going to call it on that. Alright, that is, uh, that is Hexen, everybody. Um, it's a neat little game. Um, it is available on Steam. Um, I'd probably, I'd probably check it out. I mean, it is a little fantasy first-person game there, and it is, it's kind of neat. It's a little bit strange, though. 
Um, like I said, I got a little bit of ways into it, not too far. But, um, you know, um, you all, you all uh, know the drill, you know, leave me comments, likes it, um, emails, you know, Facebook, all that stuff, always appreciate it, uh, if you like it, you know, tell your friends, all that, all right, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will, uh, see all of you, uh, next week.